Hello. Hello, Autumn. Yes. Hi, this is Dave. I'm calling from the garage. You you brought your Dodge in re- recently. Yes. Did you pick that up yet? Pick up the car? Yeah. No. It oh. should still be in the shop. Oh, weird. I can't find the keys. Wait, what? Really? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I was just I I left a bunch of stuff in your trunk and I don't know. I, was, I I thought Oh no, the car's still there. We have not yet picked it up. Okay. I don't know. I might have to break into it cuz I need to get all my stuff out oh, of it. Oh, that's the awesome. Trunk. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Do you have insurance on it? Um, not right at the moment, no. We went, didn't want to get insurance on it until it got fixed. Oh, okay. But you had to drive it there. Didn't you have to have insurance to drive it there? Legally, yes. Oh. Well, I'm glad you're sketchy, because then you won't mind about <laughs> all that stuff that I have in your trunk. I really need to Oh, get... no, no, no. Yeah, um, yeah you guys can... Uh, we're, probably, we're not going to come and pick it up until it's fixed, so... If I find the keys, do you care if I just take it for a spin? Um... No, I, I mean, not no, not that I care. Could I do some street racing in it? Who is this? Uh, this is Dave. From? Yeah, from the place where you brought your, your 2000 Dodge in. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. You sound kind of weird. I don't know. Huh? <laughs> I'm pretty high right now. Um, oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to get to work on your car. I thought it was already gone because I, I was looking all over the the shop for it and I just couldn't find it. They must have parked it out. They parked things out and back just to mess with me. Oh, awesome. And I was really afraid because I had all my personal belongings in your trunk and I needed to get that stuff out. Okay. Uh, is, is this a joke? Is this, like, am I No, no, it's being not. Being punked a... right now? <laughs> no, of course not. Punked. Do people even still say that? I mean, come on, that show's from like 10 years ago. I have no ago. idea. I'm 31 years old, so yeah. that's, you know. Well, I'm 40 and I know, um, I know you don't say punked anymore. Who it says was punked? Ba- it was back in that day. Uh, yeah. Um, I would hope that you wouldn't have to break into it. Yeah. Well, no. I, I'm I'm really good at breaking into cars. I um I don't want to get into it, but I have a long career of breaking into cars. So I should be able to get into a it. Weirded with, out by this. <laughs> well, no. I should be able to get into it without leaving too many marks, n- noticeable marks. Okay. Uh, I won't break any windows. I promise. But okay. they pr- they probably hid the keys from me too, so I need to find the keys and then I can start working on your on the problem. Uh, do you know what the problem is? Oh, what is it? I mean, I'm, I'm asking you. I have no idea. Oh, you know, it's I left the clipboard in the bathroom. I think. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's got this all. This is a very strange conversation for me. You have, you, you understand, right? I don't see what's strange about it. I just I, I know it's strange. I I just I thought maybe you'd picked it up already because I couldn't find it. But they probably parked it out and back again. They're always messing okay. with me. Is that That's ch- not a good thing. Yeah, they're always doing I'm stuff like that. I will get you a drink in a minute, baby. Yeah, tell her to shut okay, the. Okay, I mean I. Tell, I, tell her to shut the fuck up. The adults are talking. There is no way. <laughs> put put her on the phone. I'll tell her. Oh my god. Well, someone's got to tell her. So, you know, you're not, I, you're, amen. You're, you're I wish I recognized your voice because I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with that this cannot in any way be real. What's not real about it? I don't know. I don't know any company guy that would call me, ask me if he could break into my car because he lost the key. Well, it's, it's not that I... I think my coworkers took it. I think they're just messing with me. I'll go look around, though. I might have left it in the bathroom with the clipboard. You have to be messing with me. There's no way this is. I don't. I don't understand why you think it's not real. I just because it's just a funny situation. Oh, I'm mean, funny to you, maybe. I'm sorry. Funny to my coworkers, but not funny to me because I need to hurry up and do whatever is supposed to be done. What's supposed to be done to your car, by the way? Um, I well, we brought it in because it was overheating. Oh. And what we th- were told that it was um the uh. The water pump, I guess. I don't know. And then there's something wrong with the wheel. That's the oldest scam in the book. Telling them it's the water pump. Uh, Okay. Probably just needs a little bit of coolant added to it. It'll be fine. (laughs) Well, we did add coolant and it's still overheated. So I don't know. Oh, okay. So it needs more coolant. (laughs) We'll drop some liquid nitrogen into that bitch. That's... (laughs) (laughs) See what happens then. I don't know. I'm getting you a drink. What do you want to drink? We're going to do some motherfucking science on this car. There's no way. This is hurtful. What's she getting to drink? water? 
Water, come on. What's wrong with this kid? There's no such thing as chocolate juice. Tell her to get a soda. I, this is, oh, she doesn't drink soda. Why not? Because it's bad for her teeth. So what? She's a kid. Kids are supposed to drink soda. <laughs> They're, they're, I'm just Lord, Lord in heaven. Uh, uh, don't don't take the name of the Lord in vain on my phone. <laughs> I'm a this is God. Is this? I'm a Christian. Christian. Yeah. <laughs> that tells little kids to shut the fuck up. There's nothing in the Bible about I'm not saying that. <laughs> but there is a lot about okay. s- taking the name of the Lord in okay. vain. Okay, okay. Um, okay, I've, I've, I'm, I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, I'm going to go try and find your car. Okay. <laughs> I hope you find it. I really do. Yeah, me too. Because, you know, it's, I kind of need it. Yeah, it's got my stuff in it, so I'll, I'll definitely find it. Okay. I hope you find your stuff all, you know, well together. Yeah, me too. Me too. Okay, well, thanks for talking to me. Thanks for letting me know, know what the problem is, because now I don't have to find my clipboard. Okay, well, I mean, I, I okay. <laughs> That's very nice of you to call. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, oh have a nice day. You too, honey. Bye, sweetie baby. Bye. Sexy tits. Broadcasting from the PLA Situation Room in Roy, New Mexico. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. Now it's time. Cactus. 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 This is the show where we liven up people's evenings by making phone calls to them, taking them out of their comfort zone, giving them stories to tell their friends and their families. Stories like, oh my God, you're not going to believe what this motherfucker on the phone said to me. And then they tell some insane story that nobody ever believes. And they think to themselves, if only someone had recorded that call, then I could prove the craziness that happened to me today. So before we get started, I've got a couple of things here. Number one is a big thanks to Green Imp in the Discord, who was asking for more shirt options on the Spreadshirt store. He wanted one of those Obey the Cactus t-shirts. So I went in there and I like created dual versions of all the shirts. Now there's the cheap version and there's the premium version. And the premium version has different size options. The cheap version has different color options, or I guess they both have... Yeah, you know what I mean. Like there's different everything, but... I also set it up so that when you order a shirt, you can change it to something else. So, like, you can go to the shirt and you can turn it into a coffee mug with the same logo on it. So, like, I'll go here to phonelosers.spreadshirt.com and I click on the shirt and it's like, change the design, change the product. I can get different styles of shirts now. Like, you can get the female shirt and everything since I'm always too lazy to put those up. Or you can get Obey the Cactus on a hoodie, on a phone case, on an apron. The Obey the Cactus looks amazing on an apron, you guys. Uh, You can get it on a trucker cap, a coffee mug, a holiday ornament, you know, a bunch of stuff that you would never put this kind of shit on normally. A retro backpack, a woman's thong, but at least now you have the option now to put it on things like a woman's thong or a camouflage t-shirt or a water bottle. I don't know, it's kind of cool, so thank you Green Imp for inspiring all of that to happen. I forget what day it was, but I spent hours on the spread shirt thanks to him changing things around and adding more options and stuff like that. So go to phonelosers.spreadshirt.com. That's a good way to support the show if you don't want to do the Patreon. Just go there and buy yourself a woman's thong instead with Obey the Cactus on it. I also put some more products up, like different logos, some hand-drawn PLA logos and stuff. Everybody should go there and order one of everything. That's why I didn't get another show done earlier this week, because I have this one monitor up here on my desk that is just Discord and nothing but Discord. And I just read the Discord and I I see Green Imp in there complaining about shirts and stuff. And next thing you know, I'm not doing a show. I'm just 
fucking around on Spreadshirt all day. Speaking of Discord, Discord is getting cooler because we have the PLA Discord and then and then we have the Hijinx Discord. That's like a general prank call community Discord. And there's a Discord for XYZ show. And just recently, Tim from the Distorted View podcast set up a Discord room. So I'm really liking Discord all of a sudden. There's like a bunch of rooms in there I like now. We've got the Discord for the Dick Show, and there's one for the podcast by the guy that used to be known as Hot Carl. You know the Natalie, I Want to Do You Vaginally song? He's got a Discord. You guys don't care about that, though. But I'm going to put some links in the show notes for all of the different Discords so you guys can join them and join the fun. Tonight, Saturday night, is usually movie night in the Hijinx Discord. I'm assuming they're doing that tonight. I haven't been there in a couple weeks now, but maybe I'll join up tonight after the Dwight Show. So that's a good reason to sign up for all these different discords. And if you don't know what discord is, it's like a chat room. It's like the old IRC channels, except it's all modernized. Doesn't look like it's from the 90s anymore. Madhouse Live has a discord too, but you have to be a member of the Patreon to get on there. He doesn't want you outsiders in there. He's basically like Trump. He built a wall, keeping everyone out. You know how Carlito is. Where's the movie playing? I don't know. Where's the paper? I don't know. Where'd you put it? I don't know. To find your favorite movie, you don't even have to know how to read. Just be smart enough to call Movie Phone. Welcome to Movie Phone. The movie you selected is playing at the Fairtown Cinema. Showtimes are 7 o'clock. Daddy, the movie starts at 7. I found the paper. Where are my glasses? I don't know. Um. Call 777-FILM, your what, where, and when guide to the movies. Here is a list from Sarah. Sarah sends me a lot of lists, and um, she doesn't really give any context behind the numbers. She just gives me a name and a phone number, and they're all in different area codes. And she says, here's yet another list from Craigslist people. Craigslist people better watch out. And she sent me this list back in September of 2016, and I'm just now getting to it. Lately, I've been going back and trying to find old numbers to call old submissions and stuff just to kind of try and get caught up. So I think I'm just going to call up these people, maybe tell them all to hang up the phone and see where that goes. Hello. Hey, Brandon. Yes. Hey, it's uh, Steve Dave from the grocery store. Say again? Steve Dave from the grocery store. Hey, just hang up the phone, okay? Just hang it up. What do you, what do you, what's up, buddy? What do you need? Nothing. I don't need anything. Just hang up the phone. <laughs> Have a good night. Yeah, Steve you better hang it up. Store. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Dan? Yeah. Hey, uh, hang up the phone, okay? Why? Because I said so. Who is this? Don't worry about it. Just hang up the phone. Hang it up. Right now. Who is it? Don't worry about who it is. Just hang up the phone. Do what you're told. You hanging up. What are you doing? Looking at your caller ID? No, I'm actually working on a friend's phone. Yeah, you don't have any friends. Just hang up the phone. Hang it up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know you will. You better hang it up. And why don't you hang up? No, I don't want to hang up. You hang up. I'm calling the shots here. You hang up the phone. How'd you get my number? Don't worry about it. Just hang up the phone. Or I'll hang it up for you. Okay. All right. Do hang it. it up? No, you hang it up. I ain't hanging up shit. Well, I'm going to set my phone down and leave it on. Good. Go ahead. <laughs> I dare you. I'll just make other calls while you set your phone down. I don't care. Hello? Hello, Allie? Yes? Allie, hang up the phone. Huh? I said hang up the phone. Hang it up. Allie? Allie, hang up the phone. Allie? Oh, guess we lost Allie. I know you're listening, Dan. I can hear you breathing. Well, yeah, I told you I'm not going to hang up. Well, you said you were setting your phone down. I did for a minute. Sounded like you started talking again, so I picked it back up. Oh, okay. We're going to call Rick now. Rick's going to hang up. Yeah, go ahead. He better hang up. 
I'll hang up when you tell me who you are. And hey, you hey Rick. Hello. Rick, Rick, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, good. Hang up your phone. Rick? I got my phone. Yeah, hang it up. See, Rick hung up. Rick knows what's good for him. So why can't you tell me where you're from? Hey, Chris. Hello? I mean, Travis. Yeah. Hey, Travis, hang up the phone. You want, you want Travis to hang up the phone? Yeah, are you Travis? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Travis, hang up the phone. Dan why? commands you to. Huh? Dan wants you to hang up the phone. Okay. Dan wants me to hang up the phone. Yeah, so do it. There we go. Good job, Dan. I appreciate the help. What were you saying, Dan? So I was asking why you can't tell me what company you're from. I'm not with a company. I just want you to hang up the damn phone. That's all. Why? Because I said so. Now I'm the boss. You're whose boss? You ain't my boss. I'm your boss. You're going to hang up that phone. You are your boss. What? I said you ain't nobody's boss. I'm your boss. You hang up that phone. I don't work for you. Well, I'm still your boss. You, you hang up that phone right now. You tell me what company you work for and I'll hang up the phone. I don't work for any company. I'm my own boss. And I'm your boss too. Just hang it up. Okay, then... Then tell me what this is for. It's for nothing. I'm just, it's, for, it's none of your business. Just hang up. You called me. So? And I want to know because the last time something like this happened, I had a whole bunch of money come out of my account. Well, you're just being stubborn. You're just making things up. Just hang up the phone. No, I'm not actually because somebody charged $700 out of my account to buy a phone off of Google. The last time something similar to this happened. What? They told you to hang up and then they took all your money? Yeah, basically. Yeah, right. They somehow hacked my phone. Well, I don't think they'd have to make you hang up. I'm just telling you to hang up because that's what I want you to do. So hang up. Well, when you give me a reason why, I will. Uh, hang up because I won't steal any money from you. Can you give me your name? Sure, it's Roy. Roy what? No, I'm a I'm a who, not a what. Hold on. It's kind of weird that you won't hang up, though. Hey, this is Sandy. You know what to do, so do it at the beat. Ah, fuck you, Sandy. Tell me what to do. Nobody tells me what to do. Especially Sandy. Quit being so noisy, Dan. Just hang up the phone. What's your last name? I'm not telling you. Your call has been None of your business. Just hang it up. You called me and knew my number, or knew my name. So? That doesn't mean anything. So? Yeah, it does. What's it have to do with anything? Because I don't know you. People can't steal your money just by telling you to hang up the phone. That doesn't make sense. You're being paranoid. You're paranoid and stubborn. That's what you are. Well, considering you can't tell me where you're from, what, why, or what company you're from... I'm not with a company. You can't tell me anything. That's because it's none that of your business. That sounds kind of suspicious there, buddy. Well, who do you work for? I work for Walmart. Which one? That's a little more information than you need. Well, I don't think you need my information. Well, you know, you called me. Hey, Bill? Yeah? Hey, Bill, hang up the phone. Okay, who called me? Uh, don't worry. Uh, it's uh, My name is Dan. I work at Walmart. Just hang up the phone, yeah. okay? Okay, Bill? There we go. Bill hung up the phone. And see, like I didn't drain all the money out of his bank account. Everything's fine. You're being paranoid. Why can't you hang up on me, then? I don't want to hang up on you. I'm not going to do what you say. Hello. Hello, Andrew? Yes. It's uh, Dan from Walmart. Dan from Walmart. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hang up the phone. How can I help you? What is this about? Uh, it's, it's none of your business. Just you hang it up. Hang it up right now. Me? Yes. 
Yes, you, Andrew. Sorry about all the noise on the phone. Mind, no, I'm not out of my mind. I'm just telling you to hang it up. What are you bothering me for, Dan? Uh, I'm, I'm not bothering you. From Walmart? Yeah, I, I'm at Walmart right now. I, I work here. Yeah? I just want you to hang up yeah? the phone. Just hang it up. You hang up that phone. Andrew? Andrew? Oh no, Andrew's not hanging up. Crud. Oh, there he goes. Andrew hung up. Hello? Hello, Leonard? Yeah. Hey, this is Dan from Walmart. Yeah. Hey, uh, I need you to hang up the phone, okay? Just hang it up. Yeah, that's right, Leonard. You hang up that phone. See, why can't you be more like Leonard, Dan? Dan, are you fixing this phone? Or a different phone? And what are you fixing on it? What's broken? Because I can help. I know how to fix phones. I'll help you. Hello? Hello, Matt? Yeah. Hey, it's Dan from Walmart. Oh, hey, that's Florence. Oh, nothing much. Uh, I just want you to hang up the phone, that's all. Do you want me to fly? I want you to hang up that phone. Just hang it up. Why is that? Because I said so, and I am the boss. You're not wonderful. Yeah. What are you talking about? Don't worry about it. Just hang up the phone. You just hang it up right now. Disconnect the line. Yeah, I'll work on that. We'll do it right now, because I don't have all night. <laughs> that was a weird way to hang up, wasn't it, Dan? I think he yawned at me. Do you think that was a yawn, or was it just like a... Was he having a stroke, maybe? <laughs> Are you giggling, Dan? Huh? Were you giggling just now? Yeah, actually, that's kind of funny. Oh, that's awesome. I think it's funny that you won't hang up all this time. Yeah. Why won't you hang up? Because. Because you're stubborn? Possibly. Stubborn and paranoid? Are you fixing the phone that we're on, or are you fixing a different phone? No, I'm fixing a different phone, a friend of mine's phone. What are you doing to it? Uh, replacing the digitizer. I see. What happened to it? Did he did he break it while he was playing VR games? Actually, she accidentally dropped it. Ah, okay, so it's a she. Are you hoping to get lucky from this? Nope. Okay, just checking. Hey, could you fix the phone a little bit quieter? I'm trying to make calls here. And, and don't think I'm going to hang up just because you're being noisy. I don't care that much. Hello? Hey, Jerry. Hey. Hey, you hang up the phone. Do what? Hang up the phone. That's what. Hang it up? Yeah, you hang up that phone right now. Okay. Do it. Come on, Jerry. That's right, Jerry. Man, I'm getting so rich. Like everyone that hangs up their phone, it just automatically drains their bank accounts into my bank account. Do you hear how dumb that sounds, Dan? <laughs> hey, Dan, why don't you hammer on your hang-up button and hang up that damn phone? I bet you don't even know how to fix a digitizer. Hello? Hi, Sonia? Uh-huh. Hey, it's Dan from the Walmart. I was just calling to... Uh, this is who? This is Dan from Walmart. I'm calling to uh, let you know that your online order is going to be delivered in the morning. Is Sunday okay for you? What, uh, what online order? Uh, let's see. You got personal lubricant, uh, hemorrhoid cream... 
wart remover, vaginal itch cream, uh, pregnancy test, anti-foot stink powder. Uh, let's see, a romance novel for three ninety-eight, a constipation aid, seventeen forty-two. That's a hundred tablets. And uh, yeah, looks like wow, that's sounds it. Sounds like I have an amazing weekend coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. It's gonna be there tomorrow. Uh, should be before noon. Sounds great. All right, hang up the phone. Hang it up. All right, bye. All right, bye. See, Dan, if I wanted people to hang up, I would just say ridiculous shit to them until they hung up. I wouldn't tell them to hang up the phone. That'd be the stupidest way to get them to hang up the phone. Because they're stubborn. They're stubborn like you. You know, hammering, that's not the best way to fix a digitizer, Dan. Don't you know how to fix a digitizer? You don't use a hammer. Jeez. Learn how to fix things before you try to impress a woman. Tell me what the purpose of the call is. I'm too busy calling other people, but it's it's just, uh, you know, it's basically just to make you hang up the phone. So hang it up. Hang up right now. Tell me what the purpose of the call is, and then I'll hang up. No, you, you, you're you going to hang up whether I tell you or not, motherfucker. Really? That's right. Not the only phone I own. I don't care. You have reached the voicemail box. You can own as many phones as you want. Hey, what's your other number? I'm going to make you hang up that phone, too. You know, the longer you stay on, the more money I get. Yeah, you're not going to get a whole lot. I don't know. We, you've been on the phone with me for 24 minutes now. It, it adds up. Every minute counts. So you just hang up that phone. Hello? Hello, Bill? Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry about all the background noise. Uh, my friend Dan, he's uh, fixing some digitizer for a, for a girl he's trying to impress, and he's not very good at it. I think he's using a hammer or what? something. What's the matter? My friend, my friend Dan, he's uh, fixing a phone. He thinks he's fixing a uh, phone. I think he's making it worse, to be honest. Ah. Uh, uh. Yeah, so anyway, hey, Bill. Yeah. Uh, hang up the damn phone right now. You ha hang it up. Okay, there he goes. I'm not going to make any money from Bill. He wasn't even on for a minute. But oh my god, Dan. 25 minutes, 26 minutes now for Dan. I'm going to be rich. Filthy rich. By the way, Dan, how long does it take to fix a digitizer? I mean, we've been on the phone for 26 minutes. You were already doing it when I called you. You're really slow at this. Hey, Ron? Yeah. Oh, hey, Ron. What, what you doing? I'm watching TV. Why are you bothering me? Um, I'm calling you to let you know that you need to hang up that phone. What? Hang up the phone. Okay. Right now. You hang right it up. Now. At least you're doing something constructive, though, Dan, even though you're really slow at it. And you're probably just breaking her phone worse. You're not just sitting there watching TV like Ron. You're having a much more productive Friday night than, than Ron. At least you're trying, you know. Even though you're no good at it, you're trying. You know what, Dan? The noisier you are, the more money I get. Actually, it's just... You just what? It's all about entertainment. Please leave your name and phone number. I didn't hear you. What'd you say? I said it's all about entertainment. No. Oh, okay, good. Glad I can help with that. You're paying you're paying good money for this entertainment, so I hope it's worth it. We're almost to thirty minutes. Dan, that's the magic number. That's when I officially get paid, is when it hits thirty minutes. And we're at twenty nine minutes and thirty seven seconds. I'm gonna be rolling in the money tonight. Hello. Hey, Ryan? Yes. Um, you hang up that phone. Hang it up. Ryan? Who is this? Uh, this is yes. Dan, Dan from Walmart. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to ask you to please hang up the phone. Right now. 
Do it. Yeah, Ryan hung up. Guess who else hung up? Dan hung up. I guess the thing about 30 minutes uh, really <laughs> made him worry, so he hung up while I was talking to Ryan. But it doesn't matter because Dan talked to me for like 30 minutes and 30 seconds, so I'm still getting paid. He's probably going to be watching his phone bill so close next month. Like, oh my god, what, what'd they do? What's the damage? 30 minutes, you guys. It won't seem like 30 minutes to you because of the magic of radio. I'm going to edit Hello? all the pauses out. Hey, Joel. Hello? Joel. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, you hang up that damn phone right now. Huh? I said you hang up that damn phone right now. Okay. I'm, I'm pointing my finger angrily while I say that, too. You hang up that damn phone right now. What are you talking about? The phone that you're holding in your hand? Okay. You hang it up. Why do I want to do that? Because I said so. Who is this? Uh, this is Dan from Walmart. Uh-huh. Yeah, just hang up your phone. Why do I want to do that? Because I said so, and I command you to obey my commands. This is weird. It's not that weird. It's just a simple request. You hang up that damn phone right now. Oh, he hung up. <laughs> Darn it, I thought he was going to stay on. I thought he was going to be one of those people. I thought he was going to be a total Dan. No. Hey, Cliff? Yeah. Hey, hang up your phone. Hang up your damn phone right now. Who is this? Hey, hey, you don't worry about who it is. You just hang up your damn phone. And you tell those people in the background to sh... Okay, he hung up. Damn it, Cliff. Hello. Hello, Brett. This is Jermaine speaking. What? Hey, Brett. This is Jermaine speaking. Uh, hang up your damn phone. What? I said hang up your damn phone right now. Why? Because I told you to. <laughs> who are you? I already told you who I am. I'm, I'm Jermaine speaking. Just, okay. Just hang up your damn phone, okay? Hang it up. No. Yes, you better hang it up. Why? Because I said so, and, I, and I'm your boss. What I say goes. You just hang up that damn phone right now. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? How dare you laugh at me? You just hang up that phone. <laughs> I don't appreciate being laughed at, motherfucker. You, you hang up that damn phone right now. Uh-huh. This is For what? This ain't no joke. Okay. Just hang it up. Screw you. Hey, that's not cool. <laughs> Come on. Hang up the phone. <laughs> he hung it up, and I was just getting ready to call Joe, too. I thought he was going to stay on with me for the rest of the list, which only has about ten more people on it. But no, he hung up. We're sorry, but we can't automatically find the voicemail box for this number. <laughs> Their voicemail is not set up correctly, or the telephone network is not providing the information we Weird. need. To leave a message, please enter the full phone number you were calling, and we'll see if we can find a mailbox for that number. Oh man, I'm going to try this. What the hell is this? Without a valid phone hey, number, your call I'm, cannot be completed. What, come, come on. You have reached an automated voicemail system. This mailbox is not in use. Goodbye. Okay, whatever. Hanging up. That was weird. What the hell was that? State your case. Hey, Richard? Yeah. Hey, what's that you said at the beginning? State your case. Who am I speaking to? It's bet to day. I, I don't understand what you're saying. It doesn't matter. Look, just hang up the phone. You hang up that damn phone oh. right now. Who am I speaking to? Uh, this is Dan from Walmart. Did you say Special K, like the, the cereal? Special K, yes. Oh. Hey, Dan from Walmart. That sounds really dumb. I don't want to talk to you anymore. You hang up the damn phone. Fuck you then, Dan. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Special <laughs> K. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I don't think he likes being called Richard. Here, I'll, I'll address him by Special K and see if he still wants to hang up. Hey, Special K, you hang up that damn phone. Excuse me? 
Yeah, yeah. Good, good try, Richard. What's wrong with people? You know what? Richard's like the the dumbest oh, name. Ah, there he goes. Okay. Hello. Hey, hey Nick. Yeah. Hey, hey, Nick. You you hang up that damn phone right now. Hang up the phone. Hey, I'm phone. What? Who is this? Uh, my name is Dan. I work at the Walmart. Yes, Dan. Yeah, yeah. Just hang up, in- hang up the phone. Hang it up. Right now. Oh, one second. Oh, wait, wait, what are you doing? Uh, Dan, you work, you work in, in Walmart, right? Correct, yes. And I'm, t- I'm ordering you to hang up the damn phone. Nick? Uh, what kind of... Yes, yes. Hey, hey, what you doing? You exp- What's all that noise in the background? Nick? Then uh, you can explain. I'm not understand. Okay. Uh, There's nothing to explain. I just want you to hang up that damn phone. Hang it up. You're keeping me awake. <laughs> there he goes. He'll probably just think it's a bad dream in the morning. And then he'll look at his phone, see that a call came in. He'll be like, oh, my God, it was real. Hello? Hi, is Jim around? Who is this? Uh, this is Dan from Walmart. Dan from Walmart? Yeah. Who are you? Is Dan secretary? Who is this? Uh, this is Dan from Walmart. Well, what can we help you with, Dan from Walmart? Well, it's not we. It's Jim. Can you put Jim on the phone? No, I am a secretary. Oh, okay. You're one of those wives, huh? Who, who are you being rude to me? For what reason? Well, because you won't put Jim on the phone. Just put Jim. What do you need him for? Well, it's none of your damn business. Order anything from Walmart? Order anything from Walmart? No, I didn't order anything from Walmart. I, I just want to talk to Jim. His name isn't Jim. Yes, it is. It's he right. what he was, damn secretary? It's right here on the file. You won't let me talk to him. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I, I bet Jim is really annoyed with you that you're, like, screening his calls like this and won't give him the phone. Take it's, me off your call list, and I'm repeating you. It's not a call yeah, list, cool. stupid. <laughs> what kind of call list would that be? It's probably going to drive Jim crazy now that, like, who the hell was that? What did they want? Maybe it was really important, and she wouldn't let me talk to him. We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected. Or- Balls. Okay, two numbers left. We've got another Jim here. Hi, this is Jimmy. Aww. At the beep, please leave your name. It's, it's Jim B. Hello? Hello, May? Sorry, I think you have the wrong number. N- oh, hey, look, look, hey, listen here. You just hang up that damn phone. Hang it up. Okay, there goes May, pretending that she's not May. All right, so that's the end of the list. I still have Dan's number here, the 30-minute long Dan. I'm going to call him 30 Minute Dan. That's his new nickname, but I'm going to call him back real quick. See if he'll pick up. Maybe we can call Jim together. Hello? Hi. Is Dan around? Uh, there is no Dan. Yeah, huh? Don't, don't lie. I, yeah, I, I, uh. I, I talked to him for like 30 minutes earlier. He, well, I don't know who you're trying to call, but Dan is not here. He was pretending he was... This is my phone. He was pretending he was fixing someone's phone for some bitch. For some bitch, really? Yeah, well, that's what he told me. Did he say exactly that? Yeah, yeah. That's that's how us guys talk when the bitches aren't around. Oh, that's how guys talk when bitches aren't around, really? Yeah, I like how you repeat everything I say. It makes you Do you sound, really like how I repeat everything you say? Yeah, it makes you sound like comical a, to you? Yeah, it makes you sound like a mom. It makes me sound like a mom, really. Yep, there you go again. <laughs> I'm gonna call you mom. <laughs> you are not calling me mom. I am not your mama. Okay, if hey, I listen. was your mama, I would be done to taking your damn phone and Whoa. telling you to stop harassing people. I'm not harassing anyone. I just called Dan one time. Well, now I'm trying to call him back. You're not and- harassing anybody, but you keep calling. 
this phone number back, and Dan's not here. Wait, oh, wait. I thought there was no Dan. You said there wasn't a Dan. Now he's not there? There is no Dan here, no. Yeah, right. I, I talked to Dan earlier. We talked for quite a while. Did he fix your digitizer? Who says it's mine? Oh, <laughs> it sounds like you know who Dan is all of a sudden. Oh, now all of a sudden you think you know everything? What? That doesn't make sense. Well, what? Did, did I stutter? No, you just repeated me again like a mom would. Well, look, um, I just, I'm calling to let you know that uh, you need to hang up that damn phone right now. Hang it up. You called it. I'm not hanging it up. You better hang up. Says who? Says me, motherfucker. Says you. Don't call me no motherfucker, asshole. You are being a motherfucker. If you're not going to hang up the phone... I'm not hanging up the phone because you just called. Oh, oh, you're, you're just as stubborn as Dan is. <gasps> oh, my God. You know, there is more than one person that is stubborn. Yep. And you I and know I'm stubborn, so you can keep playing this fucking game all you want. You and Dan are the most stubborn people I've ever known. Then why do you keep calling my phone? I was calling to talk to Dan. I wasn't calling to talk to you. There is no Dan. Okay, well, D Dan told me that he was fixing his bitch's phone. Is this the phone that he was fixing, or was he fixing a different phone? Does he have more than one bitch? What, are you investigating this now? you got to ask a million questions to find out what's going on? Well, you... I'm not telling you shit, because it's not your business. Okay, fine then. Don't tell me. Just hang up the phone. I'm not hanging the phone up. Like, you... are you writing a book or something about this? Because, you know, I I'd really like to know what this book's going to be about. It's going to be about you not hanging up the phone. Then why call? Because then there wouldn't be a story. Durr. You stupid motherfucker. Uh, Durr? Really? That's like high school shit. Seriously, dude? You got me there, didn't you? Hey, I know oh. so, I, I know somebody you might get get along with. Uh, Jim, Jim's bitch. Hold, hold on. Let me put her on the line. You, you guys would get along great. You'll love this. She's, she's amazing. She, she won't put her man on the phone either. She's just like you. Hello? Oh, hey, Jim. Yeah, can hey, I help you? Hey, I got Dan's bitch on the phone. You guys talk amongst yourselves real quick before you hang up. What? Uh, uh, Dan's bitch. Is what? Uh, never mind. Look, Jim, just hang up the damn phone, okay? Just hang it up. Are you talking to me, you fucker? Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> You some kind of little piece of shit. Fifteen more seconds and I got him bugged. Oh crap, Dan's you bitch. Dan's you're a little bitch. piece of shit. No, Pussy. listen, Jim. What does he say? Jim, Dan's bitch is gonna bug us. I just heard her say that. You're a, a gay but, faggot. But 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 I set it up so you it, take it in your poop hole. Yep yep, it's the best. You should try it before you knock it, motherfucker. You you are a gay faggot. What other kind of faggot is there besides a gay you're one? You're a little Durr, bitch. The doy. You hide behind a fucking number. If you weren't such a little bitch and didn't hide behind a, a number, I'd kick your fucking ass, you piece of shit. Doesn't it drive you crazy that you can't? Wait, hold, hold on, Dan's bitch is talking. Just be quiet for a second. Your uh, little cunt hair fuck face. Shh. Hold on. She, she's getting all hold riled. Hold on, you little douchebag. She's getting riled up. None of us are going to hold on to you. You keep calling us, and I'm not Dan's bitch. There is no Dan, so stop calling Oh, that. fuck you, you stupid cunt. Fuck you, you cunt hall. Oh, you made her hang up, Jim. What, what? You're a little fucker. What, Who are what? you, you little piece of shit? Who are you? Uh, my name is Dan. I work over at the Walmart. Who is it? Yeah, you work at Walmart. You ain't got a job, you little piece of shit. Hey, tell that bitch in the background to shut the fuck up, okay? You don't. You don't have. Fuck you, you little piece of shit. No, just tell her to be quiet. Little She's very ain't got nothing better, do you, fucker? She's irritating me. Just tell her to shut the fuck up. Ah, uh, you shut the fuck up, just, piece just, of shit. Just put she your kick your ass too, you fuck face. Put your hand up in front of her face and just be like, shush. Uh, put your hand up in front of her face. <laughs> <laughs> that was a spot on impression. Thank you. Yeah, fuck you. you good, good pussy. job on that. Pussy, you're a pussy. You're, you're a pussy. Hey, she already reported him. Hang up. Hang up, Jim. Just hang up. Do, do what your woman says. Holy shit, that got really intense. Between Dan's bitch and, and Jim and Jim's woman in the background telling him what to do. 
Man, I, you know what? I thought this was re- like a really boring segment of hang up the phone, but those last two calls made it all worth it. And that li- that girl that was saying that that wasn't Dan's phone, like that was definitely his number. I copied and pasted it over to the thing, and there's no way I made a mistake on it. That was without a doubt Dan's number. I don't know who she's trying to fool. Here, I'm going to copy the number into Facebook. And what do you know? Look, there's Dan's name. Who could have seen that coming? And I'm pasting the Jim's number into Facebook too. And he doesn't have a profile, but he sells a lot of cars on Facebook. He's got like his own car selling business. It looks like he's got a bunch of cars for sale. I wish he had a Facebook so I could see what he posts about this or his uh, his girl's Facebook. That'd be pretty amusing. Either one of those two girls. Hey, by the way, the very first person I talked to on this list wasn't actually from this list. It was someone named Brandon. And somebody sent that in to me back in October of 2016. And apparently, if this guy is to be believed, that was Brandon Novak, a.k.a. Viva La Bam from MTV's Jackass. I should call him back here real quick and, and see if he's any more curious about the call this time before he just laughed at me and hung up. Hello? Brandon, hang up the phone. Nope, Viva La Bam does not give a shit. At least I tried, though. Hey, Brad, it's Barbs. Hey, Barbs. Um, so I was listening to some old snowplow shows, and I was wondering, when did you start pronouncing the show Snowplow Show instead of Snowplow Show? That's how no, it's, first it's, started it. it's Snowplow Show, or, yeah, um, I don't know. Also, Something like I remember that. the times when you didn't allow ideas on the voicemail. Yeah, I gave up on that. That's, good fuck times, it. Brad, good times. All right. Yeah, those were the days. I still complain sometimes when people leave ideas on the voicemails, but whatever, who cares? Sometimes I actually do calls when ideas come in, and I stopped doing the snow plow shao thing after the first, I don't know, three or four episodes, didn't I? That was more of a video snow plow show thing, and I think I quit because the joke just kind of got old, and it wasn't that funny to begin with. It's Brad, confusing Carter, people. you electronic audio conversation flunk. I have just given a listen to episode 404 of your Winter Storm Remnants Pick a Upper That was a good one. And episode episode. 404 was the single most offensive episode of any podcast. If you guys haven't heard episode 404 yet, go check that one out. Go look in the archives. It's a crazy one. In all of space and time, including... This broken universe, yes. Yeah. So, you've left okay. me no choice but to sentence episode 404 to deletion. Oh, really? That's right, Brad Carter. Come on. I've man. hacked all of your podcast feeds Fuck. and deleted episode 404 of your podcast. All right, never mind, you guys. Honestly. Don't, don't even bother delete delete, delete. Yeah. it's gone now apparently thanks to this guy at least we have our memories of it though right hey brad it's copper dan hello how you doing i'm hey, calling copper dan. from the blizzard heading up uh massachusetts i'd say today if you do prank calls would be the perfect day for ah, shit. Uh, drivers to get angry Too when late. snow goes onto their cars when they're driving so that's what i'd like you to do uh, if you get on that chip shop, all guess, right, thanks. Yes, I, I have to do a Sunday show now, so I can do that Good idea. Good day, Brad, Brad, Brad. I was one for the Echo. Yeah, I could, because you're not getting it. Hey, Brad, it's Matt Full Matt calling you. Hey. No one outside right now. That's what I and hear. I just want to let you know that. Everybody in the Northeast loves to tell us it's snowing out. I'm snow plowing and listening to the snow plow show! Woo! I'm outside, and everyone's looking at me like I'm crazy now. So are you not really snow plowing? All right. I love you. Bye. Big liar. I don't hear no snow plow in the background, or I mean snow plow. That's what I need to do. I need to do some snow plow calls. Call up people selling snow plows and stuff and ask them why it doesn't rhyme. Hey, Brad. It's me. I'm trying to get my pink Awesome. Everyone, I'm going to translate that for you. He is calling from a payphone in Dearborn, Michigan. Something about Dino or Dino. How do you pronounce it? If you're talking about Dino and his cordless phone, it's Dino, not Dino. 
Hey, Brad. It's the guy who was listening to the Hobo Sodes for free. Uh, I'm just calling to ask if you know who Jason Siegel is. Uh, and um, Is he a customer of ours? you know who Nick Thune is. How, how do you spell that? Uh, just let Nick, me know. Nick Moon? Cactus. Jason Eagle? And it must suck if you can't listen to the Hobo Sodes anymore. Since I locked him down, I did another Hobo Sode yesterday. That's like three Hobo Sodes this week. I called up a bunch of pet co's and tried to get pet weed from them. You know, pet marijuana. And I called up a bunch of dispensaries, trying to get my kittens high and my birds high and my snake, my gerbils. Nobody seemed to approve of that. I don't know why. You asked weed. me, you have a 40-gallon fish tank. How much of weed stuff is that going to take and what you should put in to get your fish as high? Hey, sir, this sounds insane. So if you're not a subscriber to the Hobo Sodes, be sure to go sign up at patreon.com slash phone losers. Oh, hello, Mr. Roy. Uh, I very much like your show. I'm calling from Estonia. It's, it's Eastern Europe. There is a country named Estonia. You have viewers. Yeah, yeah. right. Believe it or not, you, you dirty hobo. That's from that, uh, long... that's from that movie uh, Encino Man, right? Estonia? I'm listening a really long time. I don't know, four, five, six years. I, I don't know. It's my first time calling. Yep. Really much. Very, very, very good. He, he's very okay. nice, okay? That's nice. We, we from Slav country very that's much nice, love, love America show, okay? Very nice, very nice, okay? Right. Kakatus, Kakatus, yeah? Yeah? Kakatus and, and, and Estonia. Oh, yeah, 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 Nope, nope, none of that. Do the effect, you dirty hobo. Bye. I, I will not. Hey, well, I just wanted to say that I thought that uh, whole bit where you called up Natalie's on Craigslist and tried to serenade them, mm -hmm. that was ethically hilarious. Please, Thanks. please, please. You know what? On the Google translation, it says that was ethnically hilarious instead of epically hilarious. I think that's epically hilarious. Make an episode... Just, All about that. Just pulling up Natalie's and just playing that little clip. Yeah, maybe I could like figure out a way to look up Natalie's just out of the phone book. Be like, hey, this is Roy from the cable company, and I'll knock ten bucks off your bill if you let me serenade you. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that's fucking genius. Thanks, Roy. Bye. We, we got to email uh, Hot Carl and show him how his song is being used to torture people named Natalie. He'd love that. Hi, Bradley. Hello. This is Roy. The retarded Ronaldo boy. Okay. You are so sexy, big boy. I know. I can't wait to see you this summer. Yeah. You're still gonna wear those speedos. Of course. Oh, Roy. Yep. Roy. All right. The retarded boy. Bye. Love you, my See ya next time. Thanks for the voicemail. See you this summer. I mean. Hey, Brad. You know I had. Touch tones on you in my last message, and that was bad because this is long football calling. You know, you said I said some Bob Murphy shit, and that was suddenly uh, football, long football, whatever. So I'm long football calling. We're smoking some pot here, yep, and sorry nice. we can't smoke pot. Fuck you, FBI. It's okay. Fuck the government. It makes more shows happen. Brad, smoke me, and have a good night. Nah. Good vibe. I guess I can figure it out to hang up the cell All right, bye. I'm just going to cut him off. He can't have that last 10 seconds of that voicemail. Hey, Brad, I just Barely done 90 him. in county, and I just got out. 90 I in county? What'd you do? Please send me something, please. Uh -oh. address is 821. What, what the hell? Nothing. Don't give out your address on the voicemail. You gotta email me for that. Go to snowplowshow.com and click on contact. I'm sorry, Brad. I was dumb hobo. My caller ID was blocked, but now it's not. You got my caller ID. Please send me something, Brad. I love you so much. What? Like how? What? That doesn't I'm make sense. Lying. How am I gonna send you something just because I have your caller ID? You big dumb hobo. Hey Brad, it's Crazy Calvin. Hey Calvin. So this is actually a question for us. If I sound annoyed with you, it's not you. It's everyone else that's just called in. People who not call you. into the voicemail line here. Um, where the hell are you people finding these payphones at? Because I live in Columbus, Ohio, which is a fairly large metropolitan city. And there's a few different um, ghetto type areas here and there scattered throughout. But... I swear to God, and the whole time I've lived here, I have never seen a single payphone, and the few ones I have seen not have looking hard enough. cut or just don't work at all. Yeah. So, like, is there some secret to finding a payphone that I don't, I don't know? Someone from Detroit called in, or I mean Dearborn Heights. 
So they still exist there in the Midwest. Like, I think. Are they, do they just like magically appear out of nowhere or something? Like, for Maybe. real? I don't know. Anyways, bye for now. Just cactus, cactus. Keep, keep looking. We only have two left here in my town. They're almost gone forever here. Hey, that was a short voicemail segment. Let's listen to someone else's prank calls that aren't mine. I've got one in here from Wolfatin. It looks like it's short enough. He sent me, like, I've got a few emails in here from Wolfatin. And the first one he sent me, like, one of the prank calls was 19 minutes long. And the other one was 17 minutes long. And there ain't nobody got time for that, Wolfatin. What the hell? But it looks like this one is shorter. He says he kicked a guy out of a come and go for stealing things using his pants. And this one's pretty short, so let's... Let's hear this one. This one's only two minutes long. It's better be good, Wolfleton. Oh my God, two rings. Hi, Cherie. Hi. This is Paul. Paul from the corporate office with Come and Go. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Oh, can you hold, please, sir? Uh oh. Oh yeah. Sorry. Can you grab him? She's got to hit the trace button. I'm so sorry. I had a card that didn't go through, and I need to grab this gentleman. Oh. Get the, card number. Get the card that's number. That's exactly what we're, I'm calling about right now. Oh, shit. Oh, yes? Um, yeah, I need to talk to the card holder. I'm sorry. Okay. Hold, please. Okay. You need to talk to who? I'm sorry? The card holder. Of the, um, which one? The, the, the person who just tried to ring their card up and it didn't okay. go through. Hold, hold on, please. Thank you. Come on, lady. Hello? Do your job. Hi there, this is Paul from the corporate office. How are you doing? Good, you? Pretty good. Um, what's your name? Sorry, sir. Caden Smewin. Okay, um, yeah, Caden we Smewin? noticed that your card, tri you tried to put your card through, and we had a block um, going on uh, because you, we've seen you before in our come and go stores, and we've seen you on the security cameras, and um, there is a block going on with your account. There's a block going on because I came in come and go? Yeah, you have actually stolen from us before in the past. I've stole from you? He yeah, we have it. it on the security cameras, actually. He you put something it. in your pants at one point, and you've stolen things from our stores. I never stole from Come and Go. Yeah, uh, we actually have it on our security Oh, oh, so he's never stole from Come and Go. Notice that? So clearly he's stealing from other places, and the only reason he's upset is because he's never stolen from this particular cameras, place. Um, but we definitely will, can have the law enforcement get a hold of you, and uh, we can show you the footage. I don't remember stealing any from from the store. He doesn't remember. Um, it? I just appreciate it if you get the hell out of the store, please, sir. All right, I will. Okay, please. Thanks. Wow, Wolfatin, you're kind of a dick. Can't believe you did that. You should have called the cashier back to uh, find out what his reaction was after he hung up. And it looks like these other calls that he made are also to come and go. And I'm sorry I'm not playing your other calls, Wolfatin, but I can't sit here and go through 19 minutes of audio or listen to a 19-minute call, whatever it is. So if anyone wants to send a prank in to be played on the show, the shorter the better. Definitely under five minutes is makes it the most likely to get played. And you can send those in to show at snowplowshow.com or make that show at snooplushow.com, you know, to make it easier to remember. Oh, look, here's some other ones he sent me too. Eight minutes, seven minutes. Maybe I'll play these one of these days, these other ones, maybe. They're kind of long, but maybe I will some other day. All right, so before we get going, one more thing. I'm going to link to a Facebook post in the PLA Facebook group, which everyone should join as soon as you're done joining the discords. It's facebook.com slash groups slash go away PLA. Uh, Nathan posted something today. It's a picture of someone leaving a note on a windshield, and it's like a car ding note. They put it under the windshield wiper, but instead of saying, sorry, I dinged your car, it says, there is a big spider in your car. I seen it on your blanket. And I think that's hilarious. Everyone should leave notes like that on people's cars. Or I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe this is an awful idea. People are going to be afraid to get in their cars. They're going to call animal control. Never mind. Forget I mentioned this. I was going to say you should leave a note like this on a car and put my phone number on it. But no, fuck that. I don't want any trouble. For forget I mentioned it. No homework assignments tonight, everyone. But holy crap, that's pretty funny. I kind of want to do it myself tell people there's a big spider in their car. Liz Darwin commented on that. She's like, oh God, that would mess me up. I think that would mess me up too. I'd be afraid to get in my car if someone wrote that on the window. So public service announcement, everyone, don't put notes on people's cars that say there's a big spider in their car. Maybe just a pigeon or a gerbil or something. Yeah, gerbils. I saw some gerbils in your car. 
Hey, you guys want to hear pretty much the weirdest phone number I've, I've heard in a long time? This is something that Matt Hillock posted, and it's a link to an Oddity Archive show, which is a show on YouTube that I really like. You should all look that up on YouTube. It's called Oddity Archive. He just kind of talks about um, like, like old TV stuff, old stereo stuff. It's like a nostalgic show. I've played some clips by him before on this show. Like He'll talk for 30 minutes about the old 900 number commercials. And on his most recent show, he was doing one about old phone company stuff. And he mentioned this MCI number that exists to test the quality of your phone line. And the phone number to call is 858-651-5050 if any of you would like to check the quality of your phone line. But it's pretty much just a loop of this. I'm dialing it right now. Fishing in a mountain stream is my idea of a good time. <laughs> After the dance, they went straight home. The hostess taught the new maid to serve. Adding fast leads to wrong sums. The show was a flop from the very start. There was water in the cellar after the heavy rain. <laughs> They're not listed in the new phone book. A large size in stockings is hard to sell. The juice of lemons makes fine pie. I guess you're just supposed to, like, call this number with your phone and make sure you can understand everything? Those words were the cue for the actor to leave. And I don't know how long this goes on for. I don't know if these are randomized or if it's just a recording that loops. The play seems dull and quite stupid. Thieves <laughs> who rob friends deserve jail. The frosty air passed through the coat. The crooked maze failed to fool the mouse. <laughs> he wrote the last novel there at the end. So I'm going to start listening to this Even every single night before I go to bed. I'm going to put it on speakerphone, a tool. use it to fall asleep. The wagon moved on well-oiled wheels. Try to have the court decide the case. They are pushed back each time. So if you want to hear this, if you want to like just drive someone crazy, put their speakerphone on this. That's your homework assignment tonight, not spiders and cars. Write down this number. It's 858-651-5050. And you can call that and hear things like this. Finished page. The ripe taste of cheese improves with age. <laughs> Act on these orders with great speed. Yep. Okay, that's enough of that. Thank you, Matt Hillock, for finding that, and I guess thank you, Oddity Archive. A great show on YouTube. I'm going to put a link to that in the show notes. That's all for this episode of the Snow Plo Shoe. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Thank you, Nikish, for supporting the show on Patreon. Everyone else should also support the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. I'm ending today's show with a song by Greg T. I'm pretty sure I haven't played this one yet, but maybe I have. This one is called Going the Distance, because he was too lazy to rename his parody, I guess. Hello? Michael? Yeah. Hey, Michael. Yes, it's Mike. Hey, Michael. Hello? Michael? Yeah. Hey, Michael. Yes, it's Mike. Hey, Michael. Hello? Michael? Yeah. Hey, Michael. What mic are you trying to get a hold of? Like a few houses down. No, like you keep writing things on my car window, and I was just hoping you could stop, you know, writing in the snow on my car window. It smudges up the window. You don't have to deny it. That wasn't me. No, I know it's you. That wasn't me. Oh, it had to be you. I'm sure it was you. I didn't call here to have you just deny everything. Deny everything? Why wouldn't I deny it? I didn't do anything. I don't know who the hell you are. I'm trying to start shit. I'm trying to start shit. He's going the distance. He's going for disturbing. He's all in, all in, all in, and unnerving. I'm trying to start shit. I'm trying to start shit. Whoa, excuse me?